Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Sunday, May 3rd, 2020. It is 1.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Rochester, New York in the United States. And this is just a quick update on how I'm doing mentally and dealing with the coronavirus. Um, I'm doing okay. I actually got up early today, went outside for some exercise, took a walk, did some shopping at the local Price Right store. Um, and it's very, very nice out today. It's almost 70 degrees outside. And um, it's very nice. It's very sunny. When the weather's good, my mood is usually better. I mean, I was feeling some paranoia last night, thinking people were spying on me or following me. But that's pretty much with me every single day. Overall, my mood is pretty good. I'm functioning. I'm coping. I know a lot of people have situations a lot worse than mine. They lost their job, they lost their business, they're on unemployment. Um, they don't have enough money, they don't have enough food. I'm lucky in regards, I have food for now. I have enough money to pay my bills, um, rent, uh, the internet, electricity, heating, um, all the bills that you would expect, telephone. Um, all my bills were paid on the first. I got my social security disability check on the first. Um, so I was able to pay all my bills. I'm not behind on rent or anything like that. So I'm very lucky and very grateful um, and have a great deal of gratitude for the things that I do have instead of worrying about the things that I don't have. Um, this is a tough situation for everybody. And uh, my situation isn't all that dire. It's actually pretty good. Um, I mentioned already that I saw my, I didn't see my psychiatrist. I talked to my psychiatrist on the telephone a few days ago. He increased my antidepressant of Remeron from 7.5 milligrams a day to 15 milligrams a day to help me deal with depression. It seems to come on in the late afternoon, early evening for some reason. Um, I could get some pretty dark black moods when I'm alone. And uh, that usually happens just as I'm about to fall asleep or two or three hours before I go to sleep. I don't know why um, I feel like that. I don't feel like that right now. And I don't know if I'll feel like that um, later this evening. Um, I was already on Remeron, so, but the psychiatrist decided to double it. Initially, I was taking Remeron to help me sleep. But the psychiatrist says as he increases the dosage of the Remeron, it has less abil ability to help you sleep and more ability to lift one out of a state of severe depression, which mine was. I described my depression to my psychiatrist by saying it was very black, very bleak, very dire, very hopeless, um, and it lasts only for a few hours before I go to bed. So uh, we'll see how the antidepressant goes. Um, not much else going on. Um, a little bit paranoid thinking my neighbors are spying on me or talking about me or laughing at me. Um, but uh, I have no evidence of that. I have no evidence that people are following me or anything like that. I know I keep repeating these things over and over again, but it's just to keep um, in mind that I do take meds and I do have control over my behavior. And if you're mentally ill and you're concerned about someone you love has a mental illness or you yourself might have a mental illness, um, by all means, go to your general practitioner, ask for a referral to a psychiatrist and a therapist and get on medications if that's appropriate for you. I mean, I, I happen to have schizophrenia. Other people have depression, anxiety, schizoaffective disorder, um, which some doctors have called my schizophrenia schizoaffective disorder as well. So part of that's a matter of professional opinion there's no hard science to determine 100% what schizoaffective is or what schizophrenia is and that kind of thing. Um, it's often, psychiatry is often more art than science. Um, but uh, if you think someone you love needs to see a psychiatrist, try to get them to do that. If you yourself think you might need to see a psychiatrist, then go ahead and do that. Um, and if you do get on medications, make sure you follow your doctor's instructions 
on how to take the meds. Don't take more or less of the medications without your doctor knowing about it. Don't stop or start a medication without like letting your doctor know about it. Um, but that's all for now. I don't ask for money to do these videos. If you want to help me out, just um, share my videos on uh, social media. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and press the notification bell so you know when I put out new videos. Take care of yourself and each other.